How about this? Overnight, the Senate voted 51 to 48 in favor of taking the first real step towards repealing Obamacare. It's going to be part of a budget resolution, so it was a 50-50 vote, 51-48 actually. But before all of that happened, President-elect Trump said this. It'll be repeal and replace. It will be essentially simultaneously. It will be various segments, you understand, but will most likely be on the same day or the same week, but probably the same day could be the same hour. So as soon as our secretary is approved and gets into the office, we'll be filing a plan. All right. I want to bring in Trump economic advisor Steve Moore, who's very much on the inside of these economic developments. Steve, uh, if there is a plan, can you outline it for me right now? <laughs> give, give me the bullet points, please. One, one, one. Go. Well, uh, Stuart, frankly, the problem is I can't give you the bullet points because there isn't one plan. The problem is that Republicans have uh, four or five different uh, plans out there to replace. Uh, well, then you're going to get uh, hammered. Obama. You, yeah. You'll well, be I think hammered it's a problem. by the Democrats I, because they I will think say you're right. you are abandoning right. millions of people who got their health coverage from Obamacare. Well, this is right. And by the way, that vote that you mentioned that happened yesterday is indicative of where we're headed. That was a straight party line vote. Democrats are not going to help one iota in terms of, uh, of uh, repealing or replacing uh, Obamacare with something that's, uh, that's more sensible. Now, look, uh, my opinion is that you, you start with just repealing the really bad features of Obamacare that have driven up costs and hurt employment. So I would get rid of the mandated benefit program, which costs, uh, you yep. know, drives up health care costs. I would get rid of the Obamacare taxes, the capital gains and dividend tax increases. And then I would get rid of the 50-worker uh, rule and the 30-hour uh, uh, rule that you and I have talked about so many times on the show. And then you start putting in place some of those Trump reforms. Like, uh, I think one of the, the ones that will have an immediately positive effect is to allow people to buy insurance across straight you'll lines. Be hammered. Can, you, you'll, why, you'll be why? hammered. You'll be why? hammered. You know, you will. You will. I've got to get to this one real fast, Steve. Yeah. I, I, let me leave it with that. You're going to be hammered I, if you don't have a complete wrong. new but plan. We, 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 look, this is an important point. We have to make sure that people don't lose health insurance coverage during this process. That's the most important thing, because we don't yes. want headlines that say people lost their insurance. No, you don't. But, but, yeah, so anyway, okay, go ahead. Okay, What's real fast. Point? Now, the, pre <laughs> yeah. so, the president-elect yesterday at the press conference said that 96 million Americans mm -hmm. are looking for jobs and can't find jobs. That's not accurate, is it? There's no, not, it is not. That 96 million includes what? Retirees, disabled people? And people in college and so on. He got it I, wrong. Look, I think, I think he misspoke, but I do agree with the central point, though, which is when you have a record 95, 96 million people over the age of 16 outside of the labor force, I do believe, Stuart, and I think this is what Donald Trump meant to say, it, there, is there are tens of millions of Americans who are eligible for work, who want to work, who aren't in the workforce, partly because there aren't good jobs out there, partly because welfare pays better than work. If you change those incentives, I think he's right. I think you get 10, 15, 20 million more people of those 94 million that move into the workforce. That's a big number, Stuart. That's a big number of workers. Right, so is. people are saying, where are we going to get the workers from? There's 95 million people on the sideline. And you're right, a lot of those people can't work, okay? okay. But, but many right. can't. Get okay? to work on that Obamacare replacement plan you because you'll it. get hammered if anybody's left high and dry. And that's a fact. I agree with you. All right, I agree Steve. with you. Thanks okay. for joining us as always. Come yep. back soon. Got it.